Right guys, so I've been using the Sony InZone H5 headset for about a week now, and this might be my favorite headset I've ever used. Now I'm not gonna call this video a review because I feel like it's very difficult to demonstrate on a video how good a headset or any, any headphones for that matter sounds, simply because recording the sound from the headset, it's gotta come from the headset into a microphone, through the internet, get compressed and then through your, whatever you're watching, whether it be a phone, a computer, and it's just not gonna be a very good demonstration how a headset sounds. However, I am gonna tell you about how it looks, the pros and cons of the headset, the features, how easy it is to set up, how good the microphone sounds, and mainly, from my experience, is it worth buying over any other headset? But if you do enjoy the content, do me a massive favor, hit that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I think personally, my favorite thing about this headset is the design, mainly the color. I'm a bit of a sucker when it comes to white peripherals and just white aesthetic in my gaming setup. And you know, this is no different. It does also come in a black as well, which if you know, if you're not into the white aesthetic, then you can go for a black version as well. And they do that across the H5 and the H5, H9 as well. So yeah, you've got options there. But I think as well as that, the materials they've used, the only way I can describe this because I'm not really sure how else I would describe it? It feels like the side of a PlayStation or a PlayStation controller. It's almost like they've used the exact same materials to make this headset, which you know what? It's not a bad thing at all. It doesn't feel cheap. You know, it's plastic. It definitely could, it definitely feels like you could snap it if you tried, but it's not something that feels like super cheap. So I think if you add on a ranking, for example, if you've got AirPods Max at the top, which is like full aluminium, you're not really gonna break those. And you've got like a 10 pound Amazon special headset down at the bottom, I would say, you in the middle, you, you're in the middle with this. It's not gonna feel super cheap that it's gonna break straight away, but it's definitely not something that's like AirPods Max level where they're just, they're made to be smashed around and stuff. On a whole design, it's absolutely fine. I really like it. They don't feel cheap whatsoever. You know, it's got a little bit of stretch and a little bit of like creakiness here and there, but you know, as far as headsets go, it's absolutely fine. Now, one thing I do like to see as well is that it has got a physical mute, not a switch, but sort of like, a, you know, when you move the headphones up, that does mute the headset as well. So that is really nice to see. The HyperX headsets quite often do that as well. However, Sony have done that here. Now I do prefer the way, for example, SteelSeries do their microphones because a lot of those headsets, you can just pull the mic and retract it all the way back in as well. That's probably my favorite way of doing it, but you know, this has worked just as well. Now design and build quality aside, in terms of how these things actually sound, which is probably what you're gonna care about, I was shocked in a good way. Just to put it simply, they sound really, really good. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that you want to adjust any of these sound settings or anything like that. Now, you can mess around with the software equalizer, which you get in the Sony InZone app, which you can download on PC. However, I won't bother because I think the, how it sounds out of the box is perfect. It sounds sort of flat. There's definitely a lot of bass there, but it's not over the top, which you would find quite often with a lot of Sony products. But personally, these headphones sound really good. I mean, I'm not gonna dwell too much on the sound quality because I can't really just show you. I can't, I can't let you listen to how these sound. It's just, I can only describe that I'm happy with them. There is one thing I would say, especially if you're using these on PC, there seems to be when you plug the dongle into the PC and you connect the headset up, there seems to be two output modes, H5, Sony InZone H5 chat and game. I don't know why this is, but when I first, I didn't realize I was using the chat mode, but, but for some reason, the sound quality is so much worse on the chat mode compared to when you're using it on the game mode. So just for benefit of the doubt, I'd just put it on the game mode. It seems to sound better. I don't know why that is, but there's two output modes and there's also two input modes as well. So you get the, I, I just don't know why they've done that. It, it, it's weird. But if you want the best sound quality, I, it seems like the game mode is the best quality. Now I do want to go a little bit further into the InZone app that comes with this headset if you install it on TPC. It's downright awful, I'm gonna be honest with you. It is just generally not very good. I tried the spatial audio, which is available on the app. It sounds awful. Like, I'm sure it's good for surround sound in games, maybe, but in terms of how it just looks, it's it's just not very good whatsoever. You've also got your equalizer settings on the app, which by default is at the flat setting. However, you can set it to bass boost, or there is a music and video setting, I mean, None of them sound better than the flat version, so that's in my personal opinion. Just leave it how it is out of the box, it sounds perfectly fine. And probably my favorite way to listen to these headphones as well. 
and there's also, like I said, there's a spatial audio, it's awful, don't use it. There's also a dynamic range control as well, it's just not very, it's not a smooth transition when it's trying to adjust the audio, so yeah, again, I've just turned it off. If I was using, I wouldn't even download the software, it seems like a bit of bloatware, that's not very good. But, like, I don't think anyone ever needs it. Like, even if you want to download it, mess around with settings, see if there's anything you like, chances are you're never going to touch the software again. So it might be worth downloading it, see what you like about it, but personally, I don't think it's worth downloading at all. Now, I will do a little test on how the microphone actually sounds, and I will do that now, so feel free to listen. Okay, so this is the audio from the built-in microphone in the Sony InZone H5 headset. It's pretty bad, I'll be honest with you. It is definitely one of the worst headphone microphones I've heard. Comparing the quality of the audio that I use to record these videos, it just makes it sound even worse as well. So yeah, it's not going to be something you want to even touch any sort of professional recording with, but going on Discord with your mates or going on PlayStation Party, it should do the job. So yeah, you know, it's not a microphone you're going to want to be recording anything special with, but it's absolutely fine. You can hear yourself perfectly fine in terms of when it comes to just playing with your mates. You know, it does what it needs to do. Now, one of the most important parts of a review for a headset is the battery life, because chances are you're going to be playing long hours on games with this headset. Last thing you want is the AI person shouting low battery down your ears while you're in the middle of a Black Ops 6 match. So from my experience, the battery life is absolutely fine. I, you know, I've had it for about two weeks now. I did say it would be in about a week, but this is a bit more delayed. I have been using it for about two weeks and I have not had them died once. And I play like a few hours a night and they've just not died yet. I had to charge them the first time when I got them because it already was on low battery, but once it was fully charged, it hasn't died since. It has just recently told me it's on low battery, so I will charge them overnight and then it'll be probably fine for another two weeks. So battery life, I haven't got a single bad thing to say about it. And getting this headset set up, it's a piece of cake. You literally get the dongle, plug it into your console or PC and you're set to go. But on a whole, I think this headset is it's definitely my favourite headset I've ever tried. I've tried the Razer Barracudas, I've tried the HyperX Stingers, so I've not gone too far into like the premium section of gaming headsets, but I have tried the SteelSeries 7P Plus, which are around similar price, and these just wipe the floor with those. So on a whole, I would definitely say, look, if it, when it comes to Black Friday and there's any good deals on these headsets, if you can pick this up for around $100, £100, you can't go wrong whatsoever. Now, if you've got any questions, let me know down below. But that's going to do it for today's video. Like I said, if you do enjoy the content, do me a massive favour. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.